Hey guys, welcome to another video. I really hope all of you are keeping safe and well. And as most of you know, driving tests have been uh, postponed for the next uh, few months and driving instructors have stopped teaching at the moment. So um, the worst thing at this time, I think anybody can do is just totally forget about their uh, about their driving because a lot of you are thinking, oh, what's the point? There's no driving tests and nobody's taking driving lessons at the moment. Uh, but when this is over, you're going to be fully prepared. You're going to be ready if you've got your test coming up or even if you just start your driving lessons. Um, you don't want to forget what you've already learned. So I'll be doing a different lesson every week. And obviously I can't do with a learner at the moment because it's not safe to do so. So what I'll do is I'll talk you through the topic because in one of my previous videos, I got, I got a really good reaction from you guys um, in which I'm talking you through exactly what I'm doing. So today's topic, pretty basic, moving off and stopping. Um, so I'm going to talk you through it and I'm also going to show you the main mistakes that learners make whilst doing this topic. And as you guys know, I'm always promoting the ultimate driving course because it's something I really believe in. And especially at this time now where you can't have driving lessons, it's the only product out there that will help you learn to drive while you're at home. Obviously, you're driving, it's practical, but before you do anything practically, you've got to have the correct knowledge, and that's what the Ultimate Driving Course gives you. So let's get started with this lesson on moving off and stopping. So to move the car from a parked position, we use the POM routine, which stands for prepare, observe and move. So to prepare the vehicle, we're going to put the clutch down, select gear one, we're going to set the gas, we're going to bring the clutch up to the biting point, and I'm going to keep my feet still, so that's the vehicle prepared. Now I'm going to observe, so I'm going to start the checks over my left blind spot, check my side mirror, look ahead. Check my centre mirror for no vehicles from behind. Check my right mirror for any vehicles overtaking. Check my right blind spot. And I'm going to apply the signal. And now the vehicle's turned up. So I'm going to cancel my signal. I'm going to let them pass. And now I'm going to quickly do my checks again. I'm going to release the handbrake. I'm going to slowly bring the clutch up and I'm going to position my car into my normal driving position which is one meter away from the curb and gently accelerate and now to stop the car I'll be using the mirror signal maneuver routine so I'll be checking my center mirror my left mirror I'm going to signal left I'm going to position back to my parking position I'm going to cover the brake so not pressing it fully at the moment and now clutch fully down I'm going to gently brake and once the car stopped, I'm going to keep my feet still. I'm going to put the handbrake up and select neutral to secure the vehicle, cancel my signal, and now I can take my feet off the pedals. So that's how to move and stop a car. And now I'm going to go through the most common faults that people make when moving and stopping a car. So firstly, when moving, um, what people start to do is start to do their observations before preparing the vehicle. So they'll do all the checks, they'll see it's clear, and then they'll start to prepare the vehicle. But by the time they prepare the vehicle, the situation around them can change. So always prepare your vehicle first and then do your observations. Another fault is not doing the observations correctly. So even though people do check their mirrors, they don't always assess how far and how fast a vehicle is approaching. And the other check they normally miss is the right blind spot check, which is the area you cannot see in your mirror. So it's important to check that just in case there's somebody coming out of a driveway or somebody crossing the road in that blind spot. And another common fault is bringing the clutch pedal up too high. So what happens when you bring the clutch pedal up too high? Uh, I'll show you. So. here now when I bring the clutch up it's supposed to come up just to that biting point which is around here now yeah but a lot of people bring it up too high and it stalls the vehicle so that's what happens when you bring the clutch up too high another common one is not putting the handbrake down fully when moving off 
So this is what happens. So the handbrake's not down fully and it restricts our movement. The car will still move though. And obviously it's not good for your handbrake at all. And after moving off, another common fault is driving too close to the curb and not getting the normal driving position, which is around a meter away from the curb. And when stopping, uh, one of the common faults is not checking your mirrors. So not having any idea what's happening behind you before you slow the vehicle down. And another common one is forgetting to apply your left signal so other road users don't really know what you're doing. And another common fault is forgetting to put the clutch down when stopping. And this is what happens when you don't put the clutch down. The car stalls. And another one is stopping too close or too far from the curb. Hopefully you guys found that helpful and remember to help you with your driving while you're at home, download the ultimate driving course. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.